Today we're going to talk about green design in New York City renovation. I'm Mark Schlesser from My Home Design. Green design has been a huge uh, and very popular uh, topic over the last year or so. Um, I would say it has really exploded over the year 2007. What we here at My Home want to focus on is a green building. And green building is a little narrower uh, scope than a green design. How can we define green building? Um, to me, the green building is a convergence of three fundamental objectives. The first one being to conserve natural resources. The second one being increase energy efficiency. And the last being um, improving the quality of indoor air. Why do we see this explosion of green design, green building uh, right now? I think there are several reasons. Um, the, the convergence of different factors, socioeconomic factors. I think people overall are getting more conscious about environmental issues. Also in the United States, it hasn't really been that important compared to other areas of the world like Europe. Um, the second factor is uh, the emergence of several sets of regulation. We'll talk uh, later about uh, the LEED and the US Green Building Council regulations. And I would say there is a shift in attitude in the U.S. public. Um, you know, we see a lot of things uh, going on, you know, from Al Gore, Nobel Prize, uh, to all sorts of shows on TV that talk about, uh, you know, the environment and sustainability. One interesting factor is a, about, you know, green design, energy efficiency, conservation of resources is that if you watch TV or read magazines, a lot of uh, what is talked about is about cars. Um, you see articles everywhere about, you know, the new um, MP, M, uh, miles per gallon uh, regulations, talk about hybrid vehicles, but car, in terms of environmental impact, cars are not really the first culprit, I would say. Um, building, construction has a much bigger impact on the environment than uh, cars. Um, and if you look at the figures, it's really staggering. Um, every year, uh, 3 billion tons of raw materials are used in construction in the U.S. And these are, you know, some special quantities. It's basically 40% um, of raw stone, uh, sand or steel is used in construction. 25% of virgin wo uh, wood, 75% of PVC and other plastics, and 20% of uh, fresh water. And in terms of um, debris, more than 30% of the debris and waste uh, generated in this country annually comes from a construction. A few more facts uh, about that. The um, residential and commercial buildings represent 37% uh, uh, of the energy consumption in this country and 70% uh, of the electricity um, used in this country. Um, another thing is that the average house uh, generates much more greenhouse gas emission than the average car. Um, the last factor that a lot of people have been forgetting about green design is indoor quality, air quality. Um, we have to think that we spend 90% of uh, our life indoors. And that also makes us part of the environment. And there are lots of things that can be improved uh, in that area. Green building can have a lot of financial benefits and also some other you know, non-quantifiable benefits. But the fact is that at the beginning, when people started to get interested in green building and green design, the availability of products that you could use was quite limited. Many were kind of sometimes of odd looking or they could be more expensive. That's not the case anymore. And even if products, green products, green building products come at a premium price, you have to factor the fact that if they have an increased longevity or if they use less energy, uh, you're basically getting the payback over time, you know, and the best example are these um, uh, energy efficient light bulbs. They cost much more money than the conventional light bulbs, but over time, you know, they'll, they'll pay back uh, because they only use 20% of, you know, conventional light bulb uh, electricity. The last thing about green building that's really, um, of increased uh, importance is that, you know, right now the uh, real estate market is, you know, going kind of down. Um, and, you know, building a, a house or a building that using green building techniques 
really offers a lot of marketing edge uh, in today's market. And um, <clears throat> the second thing is, if you build a house or a building and really focus on um, uh, reducing the energy consumption, um, this will also be a very good uh, marketing argument uh, for potential buyers because of energy uh, rising prices. There was an interesting um, study that was made in California by a consulting firm. They tried to look at the green building return on investment. And basically what the uh, study, the, the outcome of the study was that the potential benefits in dollar terms were 10 times the increased cost that had to be put up uh, up front when building the, uh, the building. You know, in addition to the consumers, uh, investors, uh, institutional investors are starting to take um, conscience of this phenomenon. You see a lot of uh, funds, mutual funds, investment funds that focus on green technology um, and some and maybe even some firms now that have been set up. Uh, one of them is Generation Investment Management which is a company where Al Gore is a member of the board and they basically are investors, institutional investors and they only focus on uh, green technology. The other benefits, are not, they are not really purely uh, quantifiable in, in, in dollar terms. I think uh, adopting green building uh, techniques uh, has one obvious advantage is for future generations, we are leaving in the future generations a much better environment. The second thing which I talked before is the indoor air quality. And that's a real, has been a real issue. Um, the EPA ranks uh, indoor air quality as one of the biggest threats to public health. 30% um, plus of buildings are affected. Um, one phenomenon that you hear a lot these days uh, is um, any product that you incorporate into a building, whether it is furniture, carpet, paints, over time releases some chemicals in the air. They are called volatile organic compounds, VOCs. And some of these can be very harmful uh, to, uh, to humans. Uh, one example is all products treated with formaldehyde, like particle board, over time release formaldehyde in the environment. This is really serious, a really serious problem because the asthma problems or sick building syndrome that uh, result from you know, these harmful chemicals uh, represent 23 billion in healthcare costs and it, re it affects you know, the, the most fragile individuals, which are children. You know, most of you will probably ask, okay, what, what are the, uh, the buildings recently built in New York that are green buildings? The very first building that was built using green uh, building te uh, techniques was a project called the Solaire Apartments. Uh, this building was built less than five years ago in Battery Park. And they used all sorts of technologies um, to improve um, things. The first thing is the windows. Windows in this building are all coated with special films that reduce the uh, waste of heat in the winter to the outside and that reflect in the summer the uh, heat generated by the sun so that you don't have to use that much air conditioning. Um, the other thing that they did is they have a green roof. Basically the green roof is a roof where you put soil and grow um, uh, grass. And it is not only very uh, efficient in terms of uh, cost efficient as a building uh, technique, but it also allows you to uh, recuperate uh, rainwater. And as far as this green roof is concerned, they use the rainwater for irrigation. Um, they put particular attention uh, to the uh, air quality uh, of the building. Um, the, the apartments are fitted with um, a double filtration system. It's dehumidified and cooled in the summer and humidified and heated for the winter. They have solar panels. The apartments have uh, light controls so that you can adjust the light intensity depending on the outside uh, light uh, intensity. Um, solar apartments are 35% more energy efficient than similar buildings. And it actually paid for the developer. These are rental buildings. Um, Although the rents are a little bit more than surrounding buildings, this building had, has had, since it was built, a higher occupancy ratio than surrounding buildings. So which means people, again, the marketing effect, people are willing to pay a premium price 
to live in an environmentally friendly building.